Hello, Mr. Collier here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Lab 5A, What is a Newton? In this first video, we are going to uh, show you how to set up the equipment, calibrate it, and get your initial measurements. So, uh, the first thing to show here, this is a spring scale. This particular one has a scale of 5 newtons that it can measure. And the first thing you want to do when using a spring scale is to calibrate it. And what that means is we want it to be set to zero. So this little green disc is where it's measuring exactly what is zero newtons. And we need it to be set at zero when nothing is hanging from it. So that's adjusted with this little knob up top. And you can see if I turn it one way, it moves it one way. And if I turn it the other way, it moves the other way. So what I'm going to do now is line that up exactly with the zero right there. And you always want to do this at the beginning of your labs because it's very easy for these to get out of calibration from one group to another, one day to another, so you always want to check your equipment. Now that this is calibrated, anything I hang from the end is going to register as some weight. So for example, uh, it suggests in the lab that you try to get it to be exactly two newtons, which would be right about there. You're looking right at the top of that green disc to take your measurement. So what are we actually measuring in this lab? Uh, we're going to measure the weight of a few different washers and record them on our data table. So what you're going to be doing is taking uh, something like this. I have rubber bands in my classroom. Some teachers might have strings or something else, but something that will let you dangle the washers. And you're just going to put them through the washers. And then you're going to dangle them from the spring scale. You'll record the reading, more on that in the second video, and you'll record that as the number of newtons on your data table. And then for each measurement, you're also going to record the mass. So you just take the whole setup, set it on the balance. Now I do want to note that you're going to need to convert that to kilograms. So my 16.76 grams to make that kilograms, I'm going to slide the decimal 1, 2, 3 to the left because there are 1,000 grams per kilogram. And my final answer, fill in with a 0, is 0 0.01676 kilograms. Okay. What you're going to be doing then is adding washers on. You're going to go 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 washers. Uh, recording the weight in newtons from the spring scale, the mass in grams from the balance, and then converting to kilograms. In the next video, I'm going to actually take those measurements in case you're absent, and in the third video, I'll show you how to set up the graph. 